Hare Krishna, to all devotees today, we are going to start our course of Bhagavad Gita, which consists of 18 chapter and 700 texts, which are said by Krishna and Arjuna. So today we learn about the content of our course chapter 1 observing the armies on the battlefield of Kuruksetra as the opposing armies stand poised for battle. Arjuna The mighty warrior Sees his intimate relatives Teachers and friends in both armies ready to fight and sacrifice their lives. Overcome by grief and pity. Arjuna fails in strength. His mind becomes bewildered. And he gives up his determination to fight. Chapter 2 Contents of the Gita summarized Arjuna submits to Lord Krishna as his disciple. And Krishna begins his teachings to Arjuna by explaining the fundamental distinction between the temporary material body and the eternal spiritual soul. The Lord explains the process of transmigration, the nature of selfless service to the Supreme and the characteristics of a self-realized person. Chapter 3 Karma Yoga Everyone must engage in some sort of activity in this material world. But actions can either bind one to this world or liberate one from it. By acting for the pleasure of the Supreme. Without selfish motives. One can be liberated from the law of karma, action and reaction, and attain transcendental knowledge of the self and the Supreme. Chapter 4 Transcendental Knowledge Transcendental Knowledge The Spiritual Knowledge of the Soul Of God and of their relationship is both purifying and liberating. Such knowledge is the fruit of selfless devotional action, karma yoga. The Lord explains the remote history of the Gita, the purpose and significance of his periodic descents to the material world, and the necessity of approaching a guru, a realized teacher. Chapter 5 Karma Yoga Action in Krishna Consciousness Outwardly performing all actions, but inwardly renouncing their fruits. The wise man Purified by the fire of transcendental knowledge Attains peace Detachment Forbearance Spiritual vision and bliss Chapter 6 Dhyana Yoga Astanga Yoga a mechanical meditative practice controls the mind and senses and focuses concentration on the Paramatma, the Supersoul, the form of the Lord situated in the heart. This practice culminates in Samadhi, full consciousness of the Supreme. Chapter 7 Knowledge of the Absolute Lord Krishna is the Supreme Truth. The supreme cause and S.U.S. taining force of everything, both material and spiritual. Advanced souls surrender unto him in devotion, whereas impious souls divert their minds to other objects of worship. Chapter 8 Attaining the Supreme By remembering Lord Krishna in devotion throughout one's life, and especially at the time of death, one can attain to his supreme abode beyond the material world. Chapter 9 The Most Confidential Knowledge Lord Krishna is the supreme Godhead and the supreme object of worship. The soul is eternally related to him through Transcendental Devotional Service, Bhakti By reviving one's pure devotion one returns to Krishna in the spiritual realm. Chapter 10 The Opulence of the Absolute All wondrous phenomena showing power, beauty, grandeur or sublimity, either in the material world or in the spiritual, are but partial manifestations of Krishna's divine energies and opulence. As the supreme cause of all causes and the support and essence of everything, Krishna is the supreme object of worship for all beings. Chapter 11 The Universal Form Lord Krishna grants Arjuna divine vision and reveals his spectacular unlimited form as the cosmic universe. Thus he conclusively establishes his divinity. 
Chris now explains that his own all-beautiful human-like form is the original form of Godhead. One can perceive this form only by pure devotional service. Chapter 12 Devotional Service Bhakti Yoga Pure devotional service to Lord Krishna is the highest and most expedient means for attaining pure love for Krishna, which is the highest end of spiritual existence. Those who follow this supreme path develop divine qualities. Chapter 13 Nature The enjoyer in consciousness, one who understands the difference between the body. The soul and the supersoul beyond them both attains liberation from this material world. Chapter 14 The Three Modes of Material Nature All embodied souls are under the control of the three modes or qualities of material nature goodness passion and ignorance Lord Krishna explains what these modes are how they act upon us how one transcends them and the symptoms of one who has attained the transcendental state. Chapter 15 The Yoga of the Supreme Person The ultimate purpose of Vedic knowledge is to detach oneself from the entanglement of the material world and to understand Lord Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One who understands Krishna's supreme identity surrenders unto him and engages in his devotional service. Chapter 16 the divine and demoniac natures, those who possess demoniac qualities and who live whimsically, without following the regulations of scripture, attain lower births and further material bondage. But those who possess divine qualities and live regulated lives, abiding by scriptural authority, gradually attain spiritual perfection. Chapter 17 the divisions of faith, there are three types of faith, corresponding to and evolving from the three modes of material nature. Acts performed by those whose faith is in passion and ignorance yield only impermanent. Material results. Whereas acts performed in goodness, in accord with scriptural injunctions, purify the heart and lead to pure faith in Lord Krishna and to him. Chapter 18 The Perfection of Renunciation Krishna explains the meaning of renunciation and the effects of the modes of nature on human consciousness and activity. He explains Brahman realization, the glories of the Bhagavad Gita and the ultimate conclusion of the Gita. The highest path of religion is absolute, unconditional loving surrender unto Lord Krishna which frees one from all sins, brings one to complete enlightenment, and enables one to return to Krishna's eternal spiritual abode. Thanks to all the listeners, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel Bhagavan Ki Bhakti.